Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. Now till this point we have talked about functions, we have talked about recursion and we have also talked about factorial. Now in this video let's combine everything and let's find a factorial of a number with the help of recursion. Now just to recap what is recursion, it's a function calling itself. So let's say if you have a function a and if a a function calls itself, that's a recursion, right? In fact, we have done that with the help of read function and then we try to print hello, right? So let's find a factorial here. Now when you say uh, you want to find a factorial, it's very simple. You will say you will take a result variable and in that you will be storing a factorial of a number. Time being, let's find a factorial of 5. Maybe you can take the input from the user. That's your choice. And now let's print the, oh not print, uh, let's print the value of result. Okay, that's, that's what we want to do. But then we don't have this function fact, right? Let's define it. So the way you define a function is by saying def, and then you mention a function name, right? So we say fact. Now this fact will take a variable, okay? It will, it will accept a variable, so I will say n. And in this n, you will pass a value. So time when we are passing five, right? Now the, the thing is, we need to pass, we need to return the value of factorial. Now we know, we know one way of doing it, okay? We have done that before. We have used a for loop, right? So we can start from one and we can reach to that, that point and then we can multiply the numbers as we have done that. The example for this, it will be one into two into three into four into five, right? But in this case, this is not what we want to do. So let's imagine I am fact function, okay? So you are the user and you are saying, hey, hey fact, give me a factorial of five. So you're talking to me, okay? So I will say, okay, my job is to give you the factorial of five. So that means I have to say five into four into three. Oh, hold on, for that I have to use a for loop, right? What I will do is I will say, okay, five into four factorial, because if I can find that, I will, get, I will give you the value, right? But unfortunately, we still have to find four factorial. So what I will do is I will say, uh, so I will take a help of someone. I will say, hey, fact, oh, I'm calling myself there. Hey, fact, can you give me a factorial of four? Okay, because, so you are asking factorial of five, right? I'm asking factorial for four. So I'm calling myself. So I'll say, hey, can you give me a factorial of four? Oh, factorial of four, right? It's very simple. So what I can do is I can say four into three factorial, but I don't know how to find a factorial of three. So I need help here. Hey, can you give me three factorial? Okay, I always do that. So I will say three into, so my job is to find three into two factorial. I don't know what this two factorial is. Hey, can you help me with that? Oh, two factorial, right? So it's very simple. It's two into one factorial. Oh, but I don't know what is one factorial. Hey, can you help me with that? Oh, hold on. One factorial is... Oh, for that I have to say one into zero factorial, right? Because we are following the pattern here. Okay, so for that I have to say... Oh, I don't know what this zero factorial is. Hey, can you help me with that? Of course, zero factorial. It's one. Everyone knows that. It's one. So one, is, one into one is one. Okay. Two into one is two. Oh, three into two is six. Okay. Four into six is 24. Okay, so now we got four factorial, which is 24, right? So now my answer is five into 24, which is 120. So you got the answer. So if you can see, we got a factorial of five and I'm calling myself, right? So there's no for loop here. I'm calling the same function name. So this is called as recursion and you got the answer, right? So let's implement the same concept here now. So what I will do is I'm calling myself, right? But if you can observe here, what I'm doing is I'm simply saying, I want to return the value by saying five into four factorial. But hold on, we cannot simply use a number here, right? So five is n, right? So I will say n into, but I have to also find the factorial of four, right? So I will say fact of. Now when you say you want to find five into four factorial, later you will say four into three factorial. That means it is always one less than the n, right? So I will say n minus one, right? So I have to find n into a fact of n minus one. But we have an issue here because we are calling itself, right? So there should be some limit. In that case, what you will do is you will first check if the number is zero, because if you remember the top one is, so the moment you say zero, if n is equal to zero, in that case, you will simply return one because we all know the factorial of zero is one, right? Uh, so this, this is how you do it. So it's, it's so simple, right? There's no, not a lot of code here. And let's run this code and you can see we got the output which is 120. So that's how you find a factorial of a number. So with the help of recursion, you can do a lot of stuff. Okay, there's just one example. So in some of the videos, we'll talk more about recursion, what else we can do, or you can try with different examples here. So let me know in the comment section if you're enjoying this series. So do subscribe to the channel for further videos. Bye-bye.